Hello all. What I'm breaking into here is a half gauge, made by Hong Dui and kindly sent to me by Banggood for review. When I saw this item on Banggood, my first thought was, what the hell is a half gauge? My second thought was, if it is what it sounds like it is, it's a bit niche, isn't it? Well, it is what it sounds like it is, and on closer inspection of the images, I thought it might actually be a decent addition to my marking and layout tools. Might have a couple of uses beyond halving too, so watch on as I don the monocle and give it a good looking over. So it's a Hongdui HD19 half gauge to give it its full title, and as ever with tools bearing the Hongdui brand, it looks and feels beautifully built in aluminium, steel and brass. On the right side there, you can see the scale with metric left and imperial right. On the bottom left you can see the steel marking blade with the blue locking lever behind. More on that shortly. Round the back, on the bottom, are two brass, or at least brass coloured metal, sort of domes. These do absolutely nothing but house two magnets and I think add a little mass to balance the thing when the blade is raised. Over engineered surely, but I kind of love it for that. Just above those is the brass thumb screw to free up the blade and stock measurement. If I loosen it off and turn it round, just look at this. Ain't that just wild? You can see there where the scale is, there's a flat surface to rest on your stock for measurement, and it stays double the height of the blade. If I turn it round again, you can sort of see how it works. As you lift the stock measure, a steel rod attached to it pulls the blade holding part accordingly. Can something be simple genius and over-engineered at the same time? Works beautifully though, with no discernible slop. Loosened off, if I set it to a higher position, you can see the blade is sat back from the front of the main tool body. If you unlock the blue cam, strangely for Hong Dui made from plastic, you can see it freeze the blade. This allows you to pull it out to compensate along its mounting post. However, set to its maximum height, which is around 76mm or 3 inches, with the blade pulled out so it clears the tool body, there's not enough on its mounting post to lock it down. It appears to me the maximum thickness of stock you could measure, with the blade fully extended but still lockable, is about 59mm. I don't think that's a massive issue though, as I found in use, you tend to just use the outside corner of the blade to mark, so not overhanging the front shouldn't hinder marking too much. I do like that the blade fitment is quite a tight tolerance to the main body. This ensures square placement for accurate marking when reinserting the blade. With the absence of cast iron on my table saw, I'll use a planer bed to show you the magnetism. It's quite a weak pull, but enough to keep it in place and stabilised. So uses for the thing then. Most obviously is centre marking across stock. I've got some 34mm round stock here, in oak. Drop the thickness gauge onto the stock and lock off. Then use the blade to score across the centre. I have some better footage of me doing this coming up. Then you can roll the stock to create a crosshair. Oh, I couldn't see a thing here with the camera in the way, but anyway, you get the idea. To double check, I set my T-type gauge from the base to the blade bottom, which reassuringly read 17mm. Then use it to check the pencil lines, and, as you'd expect, it dissects the pencil line halfway. Perfect. Set to the blade, it was always going to register with the mark, but that it set the T-type to exactly 17mm is a good sign, 17 being half of 34. Of course, centre marking square stock is an even easier task as it doesn't want to roll around while you create a crosshair. Already looking like it could be a nifty tool for turners, I think. For half laps and halving joints, same process applies. Set your gauge, mark out the half height lines. Just to be clear, I'm only going over the lines in pencil to try and make them stand out on the video. The mark you etch with the blade is as clear to the naked eye as you want it to be, by scoring multiple times if necessary. Here I've got a piece of stock 48 by 80 mil, and I'm going to use the half gauge to mark out a tenon. The tenon will be a third of the stock thickness, so 16 mil. I set the gauge to the remainder, 32 mil, which in turn sets the blade to 16. Then mark the piece, flip, and mark again. Then same process for the sides. You can see I'm going over my scored marks with pencil again to highlight as I go. I decide I want the tenon 60 mil wide. The stock is 80mm wide, so I set the gauge to 20mm. This will mark out 10mm shoulders. It's kind of cool. It might sound convoluted, but it sort of removes a step. You take away the tenon dimension from the stock dimension and set the gauge to the remainder. You don't have to divide the remainder from there. Don't know if I'm explaining it very well, but it feels much less faff and speedy in use. A bit less fiddly than setting my usual marking gauges and more sure-footed than using squares or my T-types to mark out in these sort of instances. Plus, you don't have to mark the piece, you can just use it to set the blade or cutter heights. I think for my furniture components I'll be using this tool a fair bit. One extra task I thought this tool could be useful for is leg levelling. 
My shop stall here is already even legged and wobble free, but let's say you had to shim a leg or two like I have here. You can use the half gauge by setting the blade to the leg with the highest gap, the leg with the blue shim in this example. Then mark around the lower legs for cutoff lines with it. I've sort of gone from looking at the tool thinking why just a half gauge, to thinking this one is staying under the bench so it can quickly be got at for a bit of gorilla marking. It's not an essential tool, you know what I mean, but works perfectly and is a handy bit of kit to have around. I don't really have any complaints or niggles with this one, except maybe the question I started with, why just a half gauge? It seems to me it wouldn't have been too much more trouble to add a second blade position to make it also just a straight up height gauge. On prices, currently on Banggood, it's £40 with a normal RRP of £64. Not really a cheap tool then, but I've other marking gauges, squares and knives I've paid more than 50 quid each for. Being Hong Doi, the quality of this half gauge is up there, and it feels more efficient in use, and saves a mental step for the uses I've shown. If it's something you could use, it's good value then really. That about wraps it up then I think. I'll leave links in the description, comments and questions welcome below, like if you did, sub if you aren't already, and as always, if you made it this far, thanks for watching.